Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Notion. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com. Once we do that, we want to go straight to integrations. The easiest way how to do that is actually using the search engine and writing here Airtable.com slash integrations. Once we are here, we want to find ourselves and uh, try to look for Notion. Uh, we are not su successful, so we can use, for example, two options from now on. First option, how to make this integration work, is automate.io. I will leave the link in the description under this video. <clears throat> Sorry. Once we are here, we want to hover over top of our page to integrations and see all categories. Let's click on the see all categories. The first one is it's going to be Airtable. The first application we want, we want to start the integration with. And let's click on the Airtable. Now the second will be obviously Notion. This one will be affected by this integration. As you can see, automate.eo already made for us a couple of uh, really popular integrations. But if you can't pick from any of those, you can scroll down and create your own integration. For example, we want to start with uh, Airtable as a first one. So we have these two options. So let's go with update or new record, sorry. The second one, the action will be in Notion. So add a database item. Now we can try it now. After hitting try it now, uh, you'll be redirected to the automate.eo login page and you have to create an account and basically just finish your just basically finish your integration the other option is go through zapier.com where you also have to create an account uh, once we do that we want to go and make a zap it's in our top left corner we can name our zap in case we want to make more integrations in the future so like Airtable to Notion for example and it works basically the same way how it works at Ultimate. First application will be Airtable. Now we have to pick an event so let's go for the first one for example doesn't matter. Uh, now we have to log into the account that we created a minute ago continue the base uh, will be basically our workspace uh, if you are familiar with Airtable or you are working in Airtable uh, with your colleagues you can basically pick from a couple of research sheets and also the table will be different continue and now you can test your trigger and the second action is also uh, the second action from Ultimate. So let's go with Notion. Now what we have to do, we, we have to choose an event. Would we create a database item, for example, and we hit continue. The last step in this integration is actually creating an account. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.